Serving as a, a first uh, year delegate uh, in the House uh, was a wonderful uh, experience and uh, a great honor uh, because you're representing, I'm representing the profession um, at its highest level in terms of policy making, you know, decisions that are going to impact you know, what we do today and years to come. Um, you know, as a delegate preparing for it, you know, one of the things that I found most interesting you know, was the new vision statement. And moving away from Vision 2020 to be more internally, but now this new vision, we're moving more externally, our impact on society and what we're going to do to improve the human experience and transform society, uh, to me was so powerful and so meaningful. Uh, there were you know, many of the guiding principles um, you know, which served to navigate you know, each uh, professional to achieve the vision. Uh, and one that stood out the most was consumer centricity uh, and its inclusion of cultural competence. You know, oftentimes we look at the hard skills that we acquire um, through school or through various con ed courses as you know, demonstrating best practice. Uh, but sometimes it's those soft skills and the soft skills that really allows the clinician to elevate their practice and make the difference and alive that patient, client, or consumer. Uh, and so consumer centricity, when it, when, it, when it says, you know, cultural competence is a necessary skill to best uh, ensure uh, best practice, um, it's, it's letting everyone know that, you know, this is it. You know, this soft skill is extremely important uh, in the profession of physical therapy uh, and that we need to embrace it. You know, there's a quote uh, and it goes, you know, the future belongs um, to those who prepare for it today. Uh, and we look at you know, these demographic changes in, in the U.S. and we look at you know, what we want to do in terms of you know, limiting disparities, improving the health um, services and outcomes for other individuals. If we don't prepare for it today, how will we be able to prepare for it for the future? So having that, that, that language uh, within our vision, uh, which in the guiding principles, um, you know, is super, super important because today we begin to prepare for it. Today we begin to ensure that our future is going to be bright that physical therapy is going to be bright, that the doors will be open for everyone, and we're truly going to transform society and improve uh, the human experience in more ways uh, than one.